Hi, I'm Pat Croce. Ever since I was a kid growing up in Philadelphia, I've been fascinated with pirates. And then the first chance I got, I traveled the world in search of real pirate artifacts used by rogues and buccaneers throughout the golden age of piracy. A little over five years ago, I brought all these treasures together here at Pirate Soul Museum in Key West to share with the world. And now they're on the move again. That's right, all the way to historic St. Augustine, Florida. And let me tell you, it's no easy task. So here we are in Key West for the last ever Pirate Soul Museum tour, before all of this goes up to St. Augustine. A lot of these relics are near and dear to my heart, and I'm gonna share my favorite with you right now. Come on in. The doors are bolted, security's outside, the alarms are off. So now we're gonna open each exhibit area. I wanna take you in and show you some really, really cool, old, authentic artifacts. And I haven't touched for over five years. This rapier, sword, and helmet are from 1650. It's almost 400 years ago. Well, these weapons are gonna go where Sir Francis Drake burnt the city to the ground, St. Augustine. <sighs> my passion for pirates started with the movie Captain Blood, but my collection started with this book. Alexander Escomelan's first book on pirates, describing the pillage and plunder of buccaneers like Sir Henry Morgan. There's all kinds of blood and guts in this book and showing how the great Spanish main was vulnerable to pirates and the black flag. <laughs> the Spanish Armada, destroyed by Captain Morgan. Ha <laughs> ha we like when the pirates win. I love this rare proclamation because it's the oldest wanted poster in the world, dated 1696, when the Lord Justices of England offered 500 pounds for the head of the arch pirate Henry Avery. Every time you see that black flag with the profile of a skull and crossbone, that's Henry Avery. And you know what? They never caught him. <laughs> My favorite pirate piece in the entire world is this pirate treasure chest because it's the only one in the entire world with provenance to a pirate, Captain Thomas II, who plundered the Red Sea in 1695. And he plundered one ship too many and never came home. He left this behind for me and you. <laughs> These specks of gold might appear tiny, but they have a huge significance. It's pirate gold, 300 years old, owned by Blackbeard, the infamous pirate. Real pirate gold. Excavated off the coast of Ocracoke, North Carolina, on his warship Queen Anne's Revenge. This rare journal describes the last voyage of Captain Kidd in 1699. He was taken prisoner in Boston, then transported across the Atlantic to execution dock in London to be hung in 1701. Check this out. This day we receive Captain Kidd and three more on board as our prisoners. Not all pirates retired under a palm tree. Some dance the hemp and jig. Nothing represents pirates better than the Jolly Roger. That's right, the skull and crossbone on the black flag. When that was hoisted, you either surrendered or you died. This is one of the rarest items I own. There's only two in the world, and here's one of them. Now it's ready for you to see in St. Augustine because it's leaving Key West.